Right, so this has just arrived into stock this afternoon. This car is absolutely beautiful. It's a black edition autobiography Range Rover, 4.4 litre V8. I mean, the overall condition of this car is, I mean, it's spot on. Just look at the paintwork. I'm just going to show you around the car and uh, some of the features on this particular model, which it's one previous owner, whoever he was, pulled out no stops with this car. Brand new, this was £83,925 in this particular spec. So you've got a black theme around this car, black floor mats, very thick carpets, got a spare wheel that has never been used. And this black um, boot, <coughs> boot cover. Let's just have a look into the back. Obviously black tinted glass. Just the small touches like these black Land Rover badges in the doors which are usually green. Got this beautiful piano black interior trim. The autobiography signature inscribed there. And then the leather, it's an upgraded leather, very, very soft to the touch. Then you've got autobiography black just in the in the centre armrest. This vehicle's got the rear entertainment, two screens for the passengers, and it's also got the uh, headphone sets as well. And you pull this down, centre armrest, couple of cup holders, open up. That's your control pad, which... There we go. So it looks a bit like a gaming device, but that controls all the interface on the screens. In the back of the car, in the centre, you've got automatic air conditioning, four zone air conditioning, so you can have four separate temperatures um, specified in the car for the rear and the front occupants. If I can just get the camera into focus. There we go. Down at the bottom, you've got video input as well as a couple of 12 volts for charging. Got an auxiliary output input as well. Up top, you've got these pull down van vanity mirrors and this leather headliner which runs all the way throughout the car. Really, really just stinks of quality in here. But let's take a seat in the front. Three way electric memory seats. Again, the autobiography black signature on the door. So, easy to get into. Keyless, key fob can just go in there. Uh, foot on the brake, hit the start button. You'll notice when the door's closed, steering wheel comes into place. The seat then goes back into the um, the position that it was in, that it's saved. You can have up to three separate driving positions in the car. Up top, normal sort of stuff. You've got satellite navigation, audio and video, full digital TV tuner in this car. You can just get on the full screen. And this is rather nifty. So, Passengers viewing a film or the news, whatever, you slip into drive. Passenger still watching the film happily, but the driver can then go into navigation whilst the passenger is still enjoying the favourite film. DAB digital radio, it's got Bluetooth streaming facility so you can play music wirelessly from your phone, your, your device. Coming down to the middle, climate control, choose up dual zone, 
and then it's also got air conditioned seats essential on black leather especially in the summer months and as you'd imagine heated as well boot release it's got a heated front screen heated rear screen traction control buttons not only does it have traction control but it also has multi-function off-road capability so you can select different driving modes using this button here so you've got snow, mud ruts, sand and um, sorry snow, gravel, sand and mud ruts and then you've got three settings for the ride height on the car currently it was in the um, they call it the access height easier to get in and out of the car normal and then you've got the extended ride height for off-road capability this button controls the hill descent and this is for the high and low range settings if you've got a particularly steep incline you're looking to drive up you would select that if you're driving normally you keep it in that in the middle ashtray that's never been used that's never been used non-smoker previous owner electric handbrake and then in the middle you've got some storage and then just additional storage underneath with iPod uh, USB inputs as well there's another 12 volts this car is finished with a piano black trim which runs as a theme throughout the car uh, it really looks spot on against especially this aluminium finish just nicely contrasts you've got full leather soft ash very nice to the touch but the steering column fully electric fully adjustable rake and height and then there are more buttons on this steering wheel than you could even get your head around it's paddle shift gear change um, you've got controls for the radio volume station um, telephone voice command heated steering wheel control there cruise control and then you go onto the stalks, you've got the lights, indicators, windscreen wipers, front and rear fogs, also headlights. It's got the um, folding wing mirrors, child lock for the rear, um, windows, as well as a full glass to on a slide sunroof. But this leather headliner is just perforated in the middle, nice stripe. And you've got the Alcantara suede backed sun visors. These are brilliant, especially if you're on the motorway. Stops the sun from dazzling you from the side. Even the handles are trimmed in leather. And the quality and craftsmanship of this vehicle is just top notch. You've got some uh, storage up there. And then the main glove box, all trimmed in leather underneath. It is a lovely, lovely car. If you're in the market for one of these, do not rule this one out because it really is outstanding. And for £29,990, I don't think you'd get into a more luxurious car at that price point. This car is as it looks, it's out of the box. If you'd like to reserve it, give me a call, I'm George. You can do so for just £500. You can get me on 01926 267 813. Speak to you soon. Cheers.